that you don't have to actually produce the documents. Right. The Supreme Court has said that we can remove any person for any traffic stop sure. with little to no reason other than officer safety. Right. So while the card, yeah, it's been sort of if I, now does that apply to a checkpoint? Because I'm sure that's what you're getting into. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a legal scholar. I yeah. do know during any traffic stop, if you try that, right. it's not going to work out. So <laughs> Technically, if I pull you over and do that, and yeah. I want you out of the car because I have some other suspicion, even glassy eyes. Like if it's a bad neighborhood and it's dark or something. Well, then you have to be that much. Right. Any, any sort of officer safety right. issue. Right. I mean, ASO, their standard policy is, it, yeah. is they call a person out of the car. Right on pretty the Pretty much every time. Yeah. Automatically right off the bat. Right. So, depending on the case, like I said, right. it, are most people going to push that to the limit and arrest someone for doing it? No, not. Right. wants to be the next YouTube star. Yeah. But. Well, the, only, the main thing is like the Fourth Amendment issue with the window. That's the main issue. Is, is right. Whether to but keep like it. I said. Because a lot of people just voluntarily roll the window. Correct. Right. And like I said, the Supreme Court is hoping. Under, yeah, yeah, under there is Ford. It, there's a lot of leeway in that. The yes. Mims, the Mims case was because a guy stepped out with a truck with a, actually with a bulge under his jacket, and they determined that the, the firearm was unlawfully carried. So they fought that all the way. Out. And basically, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a pat down. If you have reason to believe there is some articulable officer safety issue, and then you pull the guy out and say, "Okay, I'm going to pat you down," then that technically is. Sort of but a lot of times, with ASO, they just get you out of the car for no reason whatsoever. It's more like, well, yeah, if you get out, yeah. But again, does it now fall under officer safety issues for any variety of reasons that they can force? Yeah, out I mean, of it, could, it could be a, it could be a dark neighborhood. It could be unlit. Yeah, could, there's they could run the tag and find out the guy does carry a weapon or something. Like that. Any number of things, really. Anything that would fall under officer safety that's articulable, but that would also always go to court, be challenged, and have to back it up. So it's not just willy nilly. Right. I did it for this reason, which right. is, I did it for officer safety. Well, why? There's got to be a why for the officer sure. safety. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, cool. Well, I think they trained you guys pretty well, I think, as you can see. For the most part, some people are better than others, but that's everywhere you go, that's going to be the case. Yeah, okay. I appreciate your time, Thanks. Thanks.